<laughs> right, I'll, I'll steer us up on myself really quick. So we're, we're here feeling really nervous after listening to that, particularly when we're listening to um, teachers talk about removal of gradings and things like that. But Minstock Community College, we're in that transition at the moment where we're thinking about dropping and moving from um, observed lessons with judgments into non-judgmental observations and drop-ins. Um, so just to give you a little bit of a background, this time last academic year in Stark Community College was um, offsetted and we got a secure good um, judgment. Before that we moved from an RI school into good and we put a lot of work in with the teachers who quite rightly needed support, who were um, not producing the goods in their, in their lessons, delivering consistent and required improvement lessons. So we put in secure and good. Once we've got to the stage where the, the climate of the school and the teachers feel good about themselves and they're delivering good lessons, obviously we never stand still because that's what it's like being in education. We move on and we push forward. Um, the vision of our head teacher is that the, the college becomes an outstanding club of our community, not just because we want to be outstanding, but because our kids that live um, around Minstock deserve the best that they can. And so when we've been working with our teachers who need that rigorous support, we're sitting there thinking, well, how are we going to move the college forward even further? And basically, we need more outstanding lessons, we need more inspirational lessons. And I ask you, in all your different schools, what do you do with the teachers that are talented in your school? What do you do with them? How do you foster them? How do you push them forward? How do you ensure that there's more outstanding lessons that are going on across, co across your colleges and schools and what there already is now? So we've come up with this process, which is basically uh, a program which empowers our most talented teachers. And we identify them through our observational um, internal tracking data, but most importantly, through speaking to the heads department. Who has the potential in your, in your department to lead and light fires with the teachers and to spread infectious pedagogy? Who can we work with who can make a difference and try and change the culture of teaching in, in your school? So we've got this cohort of, um, of teachers and from that we've built in a practical and innovative development um, process which lasts the academic year. Um, they're invited to come to three sessions and after each session they're given a, a challenge and something that they've got to do in their practice to bring back to us. So I hand over to Jenny. Um, so when we were deciding about what the session should be about, we thought very much about when we're getting into lessons, we're leading practitioners, um, what we're seeing in the lessons. Um, and we, we looked at the three areas that we considered would really transform lessons that we were getting into. So engagement, challenge and feedback were the areas that we really wanted to focus on through our programme. Um, partly because, as we said, it was what can we get. We're seeing good lessons but we wanted to see great lessons. What can our students really get out of that lesson if engagement was at its maximum or if challenge was there. Um, so they were the three sessions that we decided to, uh, to focus on. And we wanted to make the, the workshop styles as interactive as, as humanly possible. If it was an engagement, a session on the engagement, we wanted to make sure that it was in, as engaging as possible. So we did activities like using plasticine um, to, for them to, to show what um, engagement actually looked like. But it was important that we got student voice in there as well. And we, we, got, uh, we videoed students and said, well, you know, when are you your most engaged in lessons? And we, we shared that with the cohort that was with us. Um, and, and we also balanced that out with the theory as well. We, we researched and we gave them some reading material and we looked at models that were working in junior schools um, and how that could be adapted into primary uh, and we, we had loads of discussion in those sessions. We also wanted to make sure that we um, didn't just deliver the sessions from top down and that it was um, more like a teach me style. So we had lots of colleagues that came and shared their little experiences as well. So I'll pass on to Jenny. I said earlier that I really did not want to follow Mr Kerr because I know him of old and I knew he'd do a little routine like this, but it leads very nicely <laughs> with all the excellent teaching ideas stolen from Mrs Kerr. That 
what we wanted to really do as part of the process is yes, they were coming to these three sessions, we were giving them a little bit of theory, loads and loads of practical ideas and strategies, but really to empower them to go back into their classrooms and take risks. And if those fell flat on the face, if it didn't work, if it all went wrong, well, so what? Okay, they're not being observed, this is not judgmental, it's about being in that classroom, feeling empowered, trying to engage and inspire students in a really non judgmental way. And part of the process, again, was coming back to these sessions and sharing what went well, what really worked, what didn't go well, what would I never do, do ever again, etc, etc. Another part of the process as well, we have our cohort who we're working with this year quite closely, but we, you know, with anything we want to spread good practice, so really we've seen those people as kind of champions for ourselves, for good quality teaching and learning within their departments. So we've encouraged them to really shine the beacon for us, to really push these ideas, encourage the people in their department, who perhaps are sometimes a little bit reticent to try new things, and really kind of get that learning and teaching theme spreading through all the departments across the school, to kind of really raise the game of teaching and learning across the whole school. We also have created a little um, an online platform, we use Firefly at Thought. We have our own learning and teaching 